welcome to another episode of the Subnautica series, and we have a message. May I pre -record a distress call? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? <laughs> they didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Ooh. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Where? Ooh, that's. Let's go over there. Um, that's where our old base was. Unlike where I thought it was yesterday. Um, so it sounds like maybe it was a crab snake that was after them, which is crazy because I've ah, don't, don't. Um, because I never really had them come out. Well, we've had them glitch through the ground and then get stuck out here. I guess that's a bonus to starting a new game. We don't have weird crab snakes all over. Is that what they're called? Now I doubt myself. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> uh, here is the, the area we are so familiar with. That's that wreck. Bugger off. So I think right here it was our base in the last series. So let's see. Breathing. Good thing we got this uh, oxygen tank last episode. Sorry. Let's get some- Ooh, we got some momentum there. Alright, let's go down. God, I really wish there was just a flashlight version of this for the sea, uh, sea glide. Ooh, ooh! We'll just get this. Sea moth fragment. Yes! We want that. We've got abandoned PDA. We'll do that when we can breathe. new PDA data. And these guys weren't lucky, they only had uh, one power cell in their thing. This is something that uh, Jacksepticeye pointed out, but most of these wrecks look like they were busted out from the inside. Like, it wouldn't make sense for the snake to have gotten in this direction. I guess maybe if it was ripping at it, but it seems like some of it- ooh, I feel like we got so far without breathing, and then that one was real quick. Um, it seems like some of the metal should be pointed in if it was something going into it. Ah, breathing. So the other thing I wanted to show you... Ooh, look at that. I don't know what that is. Um, so this is where our base was. Right here, coming off of this, was where our moon pool was. And then we built up onto that tier over there. Wow, look at that. It looks so sweet because of those <laughs> mushrooms, that purple smoke. We added a bunch of these um, floaters on these rocks right over here. That wasn't originally there. And then they've added this. These big old things with these tiny little mushrooms on it. This was not here when, uh, when we first started out. I will kniff you in the face. Get out of here. Get. Go. Leave me. Or if you could die so I could scan you, that'd be cool too. Oh, you beast. That's fine. I need to breathe. Gonna get some air. I think they also added another one into the caving system. I don't know how far deep down we can go. Um, that way. Uh, I don't know if this was originally a mechanic. I do not recognize this egg. So let's grab it. Um, I don't know if this was originally down here. And I don't know if this oxygen getting worse while you're under the hundred was originally the thing or if it was and they just didn't tell us because I always thought it was weird that we had no consequences to going below what our ship could stand. All right let's go go go. It's jelly shrooms. I love that cave. It looks so sweet. I, lo I really like jellyfish, and so that area reminds me of them. Hurry, 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 hurry. But yeah, you need the rebreather now. It seems like the rebreather actually has a purpose, whereas before it didn't seem to have a purpose. Or if it did, we just weren't aware of it. Or I wasn't. Who knows? <laughs> but I do know it's a thing now. So before we go down into that, we will need the rebreather, and it would probably be best for us to also have the sea moth. I should probably be down here looking for supplies. Alright. 
because we do need to get ourselves the sea moth. Hey buddy, you could just find yourself a piece of metal. Eh, vehicle bay, I need that. Can you find something else to do? Let's get this started. Okay, I think he pieced off for a second. Let's get a scan on. We need that, yes. Grab some salt. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum That's detonation will occur within two hours. Not good. We don't want that. Let's get some oxygen while we're down here. From the brain coral. Thirty seconds. Oh, I'm fixing it. There we go. Is there anything cool down in here? Ooh, quartz. I don't know how much quartz we've collected so far. Uh, let's get this. Ooh, ooh. We can get some more cave sulfur. Yeah, no, 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 no. Those things hurt a lot. I've actually had them destroy my sea moth <laughs> before, which I wasn't a fan of. All right, so let's go in here and get what he left behind and this quartz. And that, and yes. We need to come. Okay, uh, we'll have to keep that area in mind for quartz. Because that is something I will use a ton of in the future. Let's grab this. Ooh, we can actually scan it. I don't think it produces anything, really. There we go. Let's get this guy going. I'm so- it's so cool that we're right below- above this. Never had that happen before. Because I think there's a couple areas that are default potential starting areas. Do we have water in here? We've already used it. Oh, we actually have a lot of quartz. See, that's just my compulsive, like, I normally am out at that. I must get it all. <laughs> okay, I don't think it is, but I'm really, really hopeful that this is a reefback egg. It's probably a sand shark because it's where we found it, but I would be giddy if that was the reefback egg because I've never once found one in any of my games before. So. That would be amazing. <laughs> so let's cook up this peeper we got right here, and then we'll have to go get ourselves a uh, bladderfish. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, Where? thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Where do you put all those bits that you take out? All right, well, we got some food. Stabilizing. All right, so we need a bladder. You, we need this guy. Bloop. Nope. Give me. Thank you. I'm working on it. And then we'll, again, get another message. All right, so let's go ahead and get the water. Did you, um, did you guys notice that after we went out to that life pod, it no longer is marked on our map, which is cool. Um, it looks like it used up the thing, because I think it still puts something in this slot. When you get that, I guess we can check. This is probably also a life pod. Boop. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is life pod three, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. So that's Signal location up in the shallows. The so it's actually pretty safe for us to go to, and hopefully there'll be more things to- Hey there buddy, you're doing alright? Just diving into the ground. But hopefully we could find more things to scan. There's an egg right there, and that one's been there since we started. Oh no, let's go above this guy. It says it's still in the shallows, so that should be safe for us. At least as safe as anything is in this game. <laughs> Perch. This is a scannable thing. Vehicle bay fragment. Yes, we need one more of that. We'll need that to make our sea moth. It sits up on the surface of the water. Ooh, yes, yes please. What is it? <gasps> Empty is what it is. No. There we go. Yes, all right, sweet. So that's, oh no, that guy's. Let's get some breath. Make sure we're going the right direction. Oh! <laughs> We're right next to it. Let's see, what's this give us? Uh, I don't actually want to scan that just because we have the sea glide. Let's get this PDA and we'll read both of those when we get back and... Ooh, the compass! 
PDA data. I wonder how much it takes to make the compass. Uh, ooh, let's grab ooh, oh my god, a stalker tooth. Let's scan that first before I pick it up. These are really hard to get. Salt, yes. Let's Let's get back to the, the that direction. Back to our little laugh pod. Pack salt on the way because that's really nice for making both food and water. Uh, sea glide. Is there anything in this one? No. Ooh. Uh, let's check this out before we go. Back to the house. Uh, sea glide. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, that's that egg spot. Woo, we're getting a little close. Man, you can really get some uh, space on that. Yeah, alright, so I'll meet you guys back at the life pod. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't done this right, but there is a version without the little map on it, and it's just the light. I must be looking at him when I can't see the flashlight. <laughs> Oh, what a derp. Alright, here we are back at the base. Did we get anything to drink while we were out? No. So what does it take to make the bleach? Um, Oral tube sample. Alright. Let's do that then. Because that makes more water and it's easier to do. So... One, two, three. Let's head back up. So... Make ourselves some bleach. And two. And three. And then we just turn it into water. <laughs> and there's not even any other ingredients. <laughs> I feel like. Water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. I feel like it should still use like a, a bladder fish, like a, a small filtered water with the bleach. Was to just pretty much drinking bleach. That's what we're doing here. I wonder if he can use up the life pod's energy. So we could cure a hoop fish. We don't have any more salt. We do have ooh the compass. So we need copper wire and a wiring kit. Does it feel like the boat's being pushed? I don't know. So I don't know how much copper we have. We might have to go down and collect some. We got that. Copper, and then I actually think we need silver. Alright, so let's put this all away. Because we'll need to go out and find ourselves some silver before we can do that. Let's get some water into our sea stems. Ooh, a stopper tooth. We're already out of space! Alright, so here are some of these. Let's go to the life pod. And now these are actually recorded. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. Don't know why no one's coming for me. Sorry, buddy. Nobody survived. <laughs> for me, for some reason. So that was the, like, cook. Poor Ozzy. I feel bad for all of you these really people. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering oh God. problem. Emergency. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. In the Aurora's drive core. The reactor oh, wow. will reach a super critical state. Look at smoking now. Look at all of that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh good. All those bits flying everywhere. Ow. Oop, oop, that's radiation. Let's pop inside for that. 
We got a radiation suit, so that's good. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. I feel like that should have started out in mine, but that's fine. Ooh, yeah, that didn't look good. This is what I'm used to saying, though. It was where it saved the Aurora in the more solid whole state. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Now, pretty much everything around this is radiated. We can't go there, so. But it's no good. Um, did we miss the ending of that? Um, so she says, you're calm about this. And then he says, I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. So that's a pretty good way to kind of keep yourself concentrated. Wow, we have so much data. Yeah, I'll um, have to go through these at some point with you guys. They're just going a bit there. So this is day three. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Ooh, ooh. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Just a bit. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Well, swimming is actually really good for pretty much every muscle in your body. Which is why it's amazing. But we don't really have much choice. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of other things we can do. So, I guess I will head out and find the stuff to make us a compass and see if I can find anything worth scanning. But I think there was some down in here. We'll see. It is your primary ah! Ah! No! 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 Bad Mesmer. No? Jesus! <laughs> this place is not safe! Stay away. Can you go back down there though? That's where the sandstone stuff is. That's where I'm gonna get silver. No fun! No! <laughs> That's kind of the dust out of me. Ooh. Oh, I guess I'll take some cave sulfur. <laughs> Oxygen. You know that wouldn't be a bad idea. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay, maybe it'll be a bad idea. I got that one. Let's go. Oh, sh don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Ooh, that was a bunch of closed stuff. So been out about for a bit. I've actually gone through the first battery had in the Sea Glide and we're 50% through another battery <laughs> for the Sea Glide. All right, so I accidentally made a waterproof locker, so we have one of those, which is nice. Um, let's see, fire extinguisher. This is another one of those times that's like, why was I out there? I need that other silver. I did get one while I was out there. I went all the way to where my first base was um, to see if that would be better luck. I was trying in the deeper areas of the uh, creep vines um, because you can find some of the sandstone outcrops down there but I wasn't having as much luck as I would have liked and I was seeing a whole lot of the Mesmers which is an amazing name. I love that. <laughs> I love the Mesmer name but don't like what they do so I um, went out that way and I was able to find that one bit of silver. So I believe what we were making was the compass. It's actually been a day since I was on here last, so <laughs> meh, I don't know. It's something I want, so it's what we're doing. Yes, we got a compass. So that adds this right here along the bottom of this. Does that take up a slot in our inventory? It does, and it puts it right here. All right, so um, it may be something we need to remove at points in the future. But for now, it's going to be useful. We also got ourselves some spade fish and a Reginald. Yes. So we're going to cook those guys up. One of these two, I think, is the most uh, food. Let's see. 2344, the Reginalds. All right. They're the ones that we want the most for eating because they provide the most for us. Um, grab that hoop fish just at the end. Uh, let's see, what do we have for this? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. 
They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. This dude needs to get better at turning off the uh, comms before finishing what he has to say. <laughs> we can hear you when you turn your head, just so you know. I understand where he's coming from, though. Even if, in this case, it's not correct. Do we have any medkits in here? No, but we do have two there. Cool. I did want to make a grav trap, uh, as per suggestion, but apparently we don't have all the pieces, which is a little sad. I would make the mobile vehicle bay, but we do not have the uh, stuff. So we need to go out and get more stuff scanned. So we're almost to that wreck. I don't want to go into it yet until we have the Seamoth because air is an issue. It's already an issue of just traveling and navigating those is not fun. <laughs> not good at it. Uh, I get lost a lot. Resulting in near and actual deaths a lot. <laughs> Hello? Oh, that's just some weird coral. Reefies! God, they're so pretty. Yeah. So fussy. Ooh, we've got a chest. Supply crate. What is it? Butter! I really, really, ow. Looked at it from that angle, so it didn't look like anything to me. Let's see, do we need... Ooh, we don't have any bioreactor fragments. We don't have a base, so we don't need those quite yet. Nope, nothing in that one. I know. Alright, nothing right here to... Yeah, that one. There we go. I head back up. I'll let you know uh, if we scan anything super cool. Yay! It's the last Seamoth fragment. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I acknowledge your presence. Please don't. Alright. That's definitely going to be something we make next episode. I mean, I'll double check, but I don't think I have all of the supplies to make it right away. Scanner room fragment. Is that gonna be what we need? Ooh, that's the start of it. Man, I love the way these schools of fish glow. It looks amazing. I just love the bioluminescence in this world, as in general. Just, oh, it's so pretty. Like, it's terrifying, but so beautiful. It's only terrifying because we know what's in there, and some of what's not in there. <laughs> Some of the stuff we don't know about, but the stuff we do know about is pretty scary. But they still look so cool! So we're gonna be heading back into the base and we're gonna be seeing if we have what we need. I think the only thing we got all of the bits for was the sea moth, which is super exciting. I'm so ready for it. Alright, so let's take this down. Yes, not food. I don't need food. I do need food. Titanium ingot. And a power cell, uh, two batteries, and silicone rubber. We're about out of that battery. And we do have the lubricant. We certainly do not have enough titanium for the um, ingot. So let's put those away. Let's see, what do we have? By the way, that egg is not a reef back egg. Um, it's the same skin for the reef back egg, but it's too small. The reef back egg it takes a whole lot of space. That one only took one space, and so it's like just a standard fish egg. It makes me so sad. I was so excited. Do we have enough for that? Yeah. Ooh, very nice. So we got a power cell lubricant. Yes. Let's make ourselves a vehicle bay. Let's put our thing away. It is kind of big, so it takes a bit longer to Great. We're gonna have to. Hello. Uh, we're gonna have to place it down somewhere different than we're going to be replacing it right now because when we want to make the Cyclops, it will not fit here. So, release! Let's get up on it. Hello! 
Hello, little ones. I missed you. This is kind of a new animation, like pulling it closer together and everything. What do you mean? I was sure that I had gotten all of the bits for that. Was I short one? Well, that's infuriating because I saw another piece and I was like, ah, I don't need the titanium. I'll just... Ah! Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I will get that in the next episode. <laughs> I might go grab that bit before the next episode, though. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. It's okay. We're now en route to your location. Sweet. Don't do it. Bring you home. Don't do it. Sunbeam out. Turn around. What else can I say? <laughs> the only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. That's reassuring. That option, all right, but so are all the others. Don't worry, you're not gonna need to park. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so that's gonna have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.